Hi, I'm John. My name is Billy. Natisha, hi. And I'm Alyssa. And today we're transforming into clowns. I have been doing my makeup routine for about five years. Hey, I've been a clown for six years. I've been doing this particular clown routine for 45 years. I started at 19. And I've been a professional clown for over the last decade. This is not a competition, right? I feel like <laughs> I already feel like it. I win for he all. Gloves. <laughs> Let's get started. At first, when I'm doing my makeup, I always go from the lightest to the dark, so that mm. way I can cover up over those light colors if I have any mistakes as I'm going along. And I'm gonna be using my favorite paintbrush today, my finger. Mm. I'm also gonna start with white. Um, just a little bit. I always use grease paint when I'm doing my makeup mm -hmm. because it can be set with powder and it can last for a really long time. I can also take like a spit to the face or a pie to the face and this grease paint won't go anywhere. So if you are a pro clown and you're not using grease paint, you better get on it. My clown blouse that I wear is a recreation of the same blouse that I made 45 years ago. So I've kept most of my look pretty standard for years and years and years. I have about six clown looks, but the one I'm doing today is the money maker. <laughs> Alyssa, do you have a moneymaker look? Oh my gosh. I mean, not like John. <laughs> like, I know this isn't a competition, but I'm always kind of feeling competitive in my life. <laughs> but I do, like, I do a lot of, like, kids' parties, and you don't have much time. Like, you're, like, driving to and fro on a Saturday. You have, like, six parties in one day. So my, like, usual thing is just, like, a ton of blush to be like, look at me, I have a cute little clown. And then it's like in the outfit where it like really pops. So I'm putting my white on here because they call white the light in a can. So everywhere that I put this white, it's just really gonna pick up any light mm. that is hitting my face. And I am a circus clown at heart. So all of my makeup is a little bit exaggerated so that way you can see it all the way from the nosebleeds of the yeah. arena. How did you first get into clowning? You know, I used to go to the circus when I was a kid uh -huh. and absolutely loved it. And then that kind of transitioned into gymnastics where I learned how to do slaps, trips, and falls. And then next thing you know, I was applying to clown school. Mm -hmm. You went to clown school. Yeah, you mom love it. Loved that. Yeah. That's <laughs> great. Oh my gosh. But in clown school, I learned things like professional makeup and uh -huh. costuming and gag writing. And it really gave me all the important tools that I needed to give me a jump start in my career. This is crazy. I'm not used to ever like doing this and people watching me slash being next to someone else. I always have cameras on when I make it. Really? No. I started clown with Commedia dell'arte, which is like Italian mass clowning. Very precise. Oh, it's very, I cried a lot. It's real hard. It's actually super, super hard. Um, but it's, it's very, all like physical comedy and there's all these different stock characters. You wear a mask. You don't have your face to like express emotion. So everything is through your body. And then I've done um, kind of like idiot stuff recently. So yeah. So basically you're a professional idiot. Yeah, yeah. Same. Clown Nose gives a lot of information about clowns. I actually have a professional clown nose that's um, glued onto my nose. And when you see a clown that does the clown nose with makeup, it's different than someone who glues a nose on. That's one way to tell. The wig is a big deal, but how clear and defined their makeup is. There are people who look like they put on their makeup in five minutes. There are people who look like they took an hour. John is calling me out. <laughs> Here's another way of telling the people who have real professional noses versus uh, sponges. If you see a clown with a sponge nose, fake clown. John, I'm not a fake clown. <laughs> I do have a sponge nose. It's in the green room. Again, I'm and not- And I didn't bring it because I knew you were going to judge me. <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine if you are. I think that people should judge more often than not. That's so not me. <laughs> A clown to me is a mirror that reflects itself back onto society. Oh, that's good. And clowns give people the opportunity to laugh at themselves, and it gives me the opportunity to laugh at who I am, too. Uh -huh. Because I can be a knucklehead sometimes, and that is real life. Honk, and see, it's much... <laughs> it's funnier when you hear it from the actual... That was, I think you should do... You should do the honk. <laughs> and through its frustration of trying to achieve this one task, that's where the humor comes. 
and it's almost funnier. We don't want to see the clown win. We want to see them fail and like rejoice in that, that failure. I'm the rookie clown. Like if this was like a cop, like two cops. You're new, you're I'm fresh, you're young. <laughs> you're, hey, yeah, raise really your fun. hand if you got hired today as a professional clown. <gasps> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, a good place for the clown to be is in Honk. Honk. Yes. <laughs> Can we say, yeah, 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 yeah. The little honk. Be a honk. Okay, like yeah. So the rookie clown. Veteran clown show would probably be called CSI Clowns. <laughs> How about Starsky and Clutch? Ooh, John, you're really good at like puns and stuff. What part of I'm Delightful isn't clear? Uh, because of the stereotypes of scary clowns, some of the adjustments I've made, um, I would say a little bit less makeup and also. Um, just knowing your audience, knowing like, what am I walking into? I also think it's fashionable, fashionable to be scared of clowns and there's camaraderie mm -hmm. in it and people, uh, somebody will say, I'm scared of clowns and then next thing you know, somebody else is like, you know what, I am too. And next thing you know, they're bullying up on the clown, which kind of sucks because at the end of the day, the job of the clown is to bring joy and, yes. and laughter. I went to a party and the kid was like really obsessed with the Little Mermaid. And I can sing pretty well, John. I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not trying to toot my own nose here. Honk. But I'm a pretty good singer. And I like sang part of your world to this like little girl and she just started like sobbing. Like she was so like taken aback by it. And it like, it was like so sweet. I feel like I'll never forget that moment. And like her mom was crying and they were just like so happy. And I was like, Wow. I think it's lovely. I felt pretty proud. No, yeah, you, you should be <laughs> you should be proud that you make children cry no, on their birthday. No, they're heavy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears, Tears of, of joy. sorrow. Tears of joy. So I put blue on my eyelids. It looks like you do too. I do too. Do you yeah. Do it for the same reason as me. What is your reason? To make my blue of my eyes pop. Me too. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Look at our look at our peepers. Yeah. Right. Blue I think eyes. That when I have more intense clown makeup, I feel my commitment level just naturally rises. And it's easier to just be a clown, you know what I mean? Like, cause you're not yourself. Yes, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, so it is, it is good. You know, if you have the time and the resources, not everybody is as rich as John here with his prosthetics. I can't afford this. I'm working a kid's party for 50 bucks a pop. Yeah. I think it has like really clean, beautiful makeup and he knows where to place mm -hmm. uh, the, the lines on his face to make him look really scary. But like as a, a clown addict, mm. I really appreciate its makeup. But you got glue, it's in a, a glass case. Get a close up of that. I can't afford that. <laughs> I could have put a new roof on my house or bought these two items. You own a house? I've never watched it. It just kind of hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. I love Stephen King, but it kind of hurts my heart that that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of been like the genesis of like what Scary Clown is now. I don't do full clown makeup anymore because of the movie It. With Halloween costumes, it was like, ooh, everything's sexy, the sexy girl, you know? And now with clowns, it's like, ooh, everything's scary, you know? And it's like, what's next? Like ponies and kitties? Like, are they gonna be scary? Are they gonna, I mean, they're already sexy. I definitely have also modified. So growing up, my mom owned a party store and then she also was a clown. I remember she had this like clown jumpsuit that she would wear and she had like a crazy red wig. Like she was like the classic clown. And I remember even as a kid being like, mom, you look like a weirdo. <laughs> like I never was like into it, but, um, and so then when I started doing it, you know, she was like trying to get me to do the way that she did it. And I was like, honestly, kids are afraid of it. I love that it is a scary, Clown, whereas a lot of people who are scared of clowns are scared of somebody who is just wearing a clown mask or somebody yeah. who is dressed as a clown, whereas it is a clown who is scary. And I think that that really adds to the element of the fear with it. Because of that film, there is less clown work on TV, less commercials for clowns. Clown is for joy and bringing laughter and happiness. And that's the complete opposite, the evil clown. And those people that are dressing up as clowns just to scare people. It all changed in 1986 when the book It came out. 
Before that, I had never had anyone tell me they were afraid of clowns. Oh, really? The, and, okay, it, so that actually is and, really interesting. And VHS changed it because people were able to get the horror films that they loved that had clown stories in it that really were prevalent. So people never used to be afraid of you pre-1986? No. Wow, that actually is pretty, but like... The horror films, they started doing lots of horror films with clowns in it, and now... Why do you think they did that? Because it's kind of funny, it's a like cheap, evil. Easy it's like a cheap, bit. yeah. I could, I could, <laughs> with two fingers right now, by simply smearing this down, I could be a scary clown. I think that an important part about designing your clown face is to not just look at somebody else's and choose clip art to put on your face. What makes a really good clown face is when you learn the lines of your face and you figure out where to put the makeup. So I'm putting my eyebrows in a very particular spot so that way when I am raising and doing exaggerated features, these lines are gonna bend and they're gonna raise and come down really low. Whereas if I put it up just an inch further, it would be right in the crease of my forehead and they would disappear when I was raising my forehead. John, you sad? I do a sad clown look. No, but are you sad in general? What part of I'm delightful is it clear? <laughs> How big were the audiences? They were huge. Well, here at the Staples Center, I perform for a sold out crowd of 20,000 people. But I can also perform for just one person too if I need to and I think that that's an important skill of a clown is to be able to adapt to whatever the audience is. So your clown thinks he's a pop star but he is kind of a rock star. Like performing in front of that many people, you really are. I can do hair more than makeup so that definitely like adds a lot to the clown look. Sometimes like, I don't when I do, when, when I used to, do, when I do full clown white uh -huh. if they want a circus I'll just um, glue with the latex like a little hat on. Yes, and it's kind of cute with you know I, I don't know if you noticed I just started losing my hair. From a makeup perspective, you guys are all good. Anything like I'm gonna I'm be good. cleaning this up, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. I'm ninety nine percent. Keep it simple. Johnny the Clown, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but we've had a transformation today. Hi, my name is Clown Name, and I am ready to party. What, isn't that what you wanted? Hey everybody, my name is Billy, and I am ready to clown around. Oh, hi everybody, my name is Pom Pom, and I'm ready to Hey y'all, my name's Lissy the Clown, and I just want to say that if you want to put clown makeup on, you can do it too. Everybody can. All right, happy birthday! 